hammerhead sharks. Their sensory organs are like a large radio antenna that detects its prey through their electrical fields. Stingrays bury themselves in the ocean bed, but a hammerhead can detect them and make a meal out of them. They then tear apart the target with their sharp teeth. Now, they don't just use their teeth only to eat their prey. This is also used to woo their mates. Your first date might be all roses and chocolates, but hammerheads are different. Imagine your date violently biting you as soon as you meet them for the first time. Hammerhead males tend to bite the females and woo them through that action. Such bad manners may be because of the fact that they have to fend for themselves as soon as they are born. Now do you understand why they are such rebels? One of their subspecies were found to be so self-sufficient that they could give birth to the offspring without a mate through asexual reproduction. Interestingly, their teeth are the only remains found long after they are gone. Their bones are mostly made of cartilage, which is like the shark equivalent of being made of jelly. So the chances of them turning into fossils are quite slim. According to the Smarty Band scientists, hammerheads have been patrolling the ocean since a whopping 20 million years. You know what's funny about hammerhead sharks? They've got these tiny mouths compared to their shark buddies. It's like they were handed out this small mouth coupon while others got the big chompers deal. But hey, that doesn't stop them from being social butterflies. During the day, they are all about school life, hanging out in groups of over 100. It's like a shark party out there. But come evening, they're like, nah, I need some alone time. Just like any other shark, they switch gears and become solo hunters. It's like they're saying, I'm done with the social scene, time to find my own dinner. Talk about a shark with a split personality. So, the hammerhead shark's head is like a hammer. And it's not just for show. It seems that this funky head shape evolved to give some supercharged vision. With their eyes positioned on the sides of their hammerheads, these sharks can see everything in a full 360 degree view, including a stereo rear view. They have got eyes on the sides, so they can see above and below, like they have got eyes in the back of their head, literally. Talk about having eyes everywhere. These hammerheads are the ultimate surveillance experts of the underwater. Off the platter that is in the ocean, the hammerheads feed on fish, squids and octopuses. But the ultimate favorite meal that make their day has to be a stingray. On an average, they range from 3 to 20 feet in length. However, some larger species like the great hammerhead can grow up to 20 feet long. So you can say that they come in different sizes, from not so huge to wow, that's a big shark. Hammerhead sharks rock a light grey colour with a touch of green and their undersides are white, helping them blend in with their surroundings from below. It's like they are wearing the perfect camouflage outfit, ready to sneak up on their prey without being noticed. Now, these sharks like tropical warm waters. They are like no cold showers for us, please. But hey, they are not picky eaters when it comes to oceans. You can find them in all the oceans of all across the world. They are like the globe trotters of the shark world, exploring every corner of the deep blue. And get this, in some cases, they even go on vacation to cooler waters. These sharks sure know how to keep things interesting, no matter the temperature. In our previous video, we told you about cheetahs who never hunt humans. Here is another vilified creature. According to Florida Museum of Natural History, these sharks have only gone on 18 attack missions since 1580. And guess what? Not a single human casualty. Talk about being all bark and no bite. Meanwhile, we humans have probably wiped out countless critters in our time. Who is the real danger here, huh? In the native Hawaiian culture, they have got a fancy name for hammerhead sharks, Mano Kihiki. These folks actually worship them as sea deities, the ultimate protectors of both humans and the ocean. 
They even believe that these sharks are the embodiment of their ancestors. Talk about a divine shark tale, right? In the beautiful land of Maui, there is a belief that if these majestic sharks graze the shores near their homes, it is like receiving a divine high five from the gods themselves. Yep, the locals see it as a sign of good fortune and blessings straight from the heavens. It's like the sharks are saying, hey, we are here to bring you some extra luck and good vibes. So if you ever spot those sharks swimming by in Maui, consider yourself blessed by the sharky gods of the sea. There are nine kinds of hammerheads and all of them are endangered or critically endangered. What does that tell you? It's like a big neon sign flashing. Hey humans, we need your help. So why not do our bit and stop using shark products? If there is no demand, there won't be a supply. I am no Greta, but I know one thing. It's our last chance to save these majestic creatures. Not just for future, but for our present too.